It's really important that people meet greyhounds as pets and not just regard them as dogs that race. They have more of a life after, after racing when they retire and um, people really can't believe how friendly, how docile, how lovable they are. It's, I thoroughly enjoy the work, I thoroughly enjoy bringing the dogs in here for the meet and greet and it's working out so well and I love to see people's reaction when they come through the turnstiles because some of them have never been close up to a greyhound before. I actually had a gentleman here on Derby semi-final night and a gentleman who would be I'd say well in his 60s and he said to me, do you know, he said, I've never patted a greyhound before. I always thought these were these dogs who had to wear muzzles and I said, they are, that's the image that's giving out when they're racing. It's, well, Ted is my superstar. Uh, Ted retired from racing when he was about three years old. He's seven and a half years old now. And he was always a bit of a character, even during his racing days. He absolutely loves it. He actually knows on the evenings we're taking him in here for the meet and greet, because normally his feeding time, his dinner time, would be five o'clock in the evening. So instead of that, he has a little bit of lunch around about two o'clock. And from then on, he's quite aware that he's going to Shelburne Park and he is on his toes, waiting, waiting for us to, to head out. It's absolutely amazing. I remember a Dutch couple here about two weeks ago and they came up about five or six times up to see the three dogs and they actually made inquiries about how they could rehome one in, in Holland. And um, we put them in touch with the Irish Retired Greyhound Trust and uh, hopefully something will come of that. It's a great outlet for them to meet greyhounds and to realise what lovely dogs they are. And after all, at the end of the day, they are dogs.